cool to the touch at the uh, top here. We're using a brake pad in here, brake pad material uh, I got as a friction material. So it's insulating a quarter of an inch between the stainless steel plate and the aluminum body of the motor and the steel ring here. Now I'm going to have this water jet cut. I didn't water jet, I hand cut this and it was quite a drag. If you've ever tried to cut brake lining or something like that. But the insulation qualities of this is so great that uh, it's isolated the hot section of the engine completely from the top. And we can probably run this for quite a while without it heating up or having to add water to the top here. Still working on the spacing of the uh, connecting rods and the sealing of them. <laughs> but functionally, the prototype's working now, so... I'm not too impressed with the speeds, but we'll have to work on the gear train and work on the bearings as well. Small uh, five and a quarter inch hard drive disc. Graphite piston. Still shaking quite a bit. Enter the flame underneath it. Yes, yes. I'm going to get some proper size bolts as well. It's running quite strong now. start up again. Now this is about a quarter of the size that we're going to build the larger version, but the larger version also will have a spun uh, turned stainless steel base, uh, which won't be a flat bottom. It will actually be a separate stainless uh, one millimeter wall uh, hot cap on the bottom of the uh, large cooling area on the top here. So. I have two more of these in parts ready to assemble, so I might assemble them and uh, see if anybody wants to bodge them themselves.